If you just filmed a wedding ceremony or a concert or any kind of event with multiple camera angles and a separate audio file, I'm going to show you how to merge that into one video very easily and quickly in Adobe Premiere 2022. Check this out. What's up guys, Myung here from Camera to Freedom. So I'm just going to go straight into it guys. So. First off, just make sure that all of your video clip and that audio file is organized into its one folder. It's just best to keep this organized when you're editing. And if by chance one of your camera angles, um, the videographer just constantly stopped and record and stop and record, that's okay too. But to, be, to make it a lot easier, I have had my videographers just continually record the full event without stopping. So now you only have a solid three video file and an audio file to merge it into one. So let's go ahead and get it started. Let's go ahead and launch uh, Premiere 2022. Create new project. Give it a name. Here is a ceremony and just make sure you browse and it's in the uh, proper folder. Mine is in the proper folder and just say okay. There it is. Now, multiple ways of importing the file. You could just open up the finder and I like to just simply just drag it over and let it import. You could also right click on the uh, project window and click import, or you could just simply click on the file menu on the top and then click import. So uh, there's a lot of things that you could do multiple different ways in Adobe Premiere, just making it easier for everyone. Okay, so now there's the folder, you go into it. There's my video file. Now just ignore this one video file. That's the music that I'm going to just overlay on top of the uh, video uh, just to kind of use when they're, when everyone is walking down during the uh, precession. So you highlight all your clips, right click on one of them, and just click on create multi-camera story sequence. Make sure the audio is selected and then push OK and just let it do its thing. The fun part is about to start right afterwards. It just, Adobe Premiere just makes it so easy for you to edit multiple camera into one. All right, so everything is processed. It's looking good. Now on the uh, multi-cam window right itself, right click on it and you want to open up two windows. First one is new sequence from clip. It's gonna put all that into a timeline. You right click on the same file again and then you Pick open in timeline. You want two of this window open. So let's go into this. All right, the first one, the first window that you opened up, you go into it, just one bar. You go to the top window and you're gonna notice tiny little icons on top of that big screen. You want to make sure that this tiny toggle multi-camera view is in there. I think that when you first start off Adobe, it's not in there. So what you do is you click on plus icon and then you'll find it, and all you have to do is just simply drag it down. So mine is already in there, so I'm push OK, and then we're gonna move on. And then you click on that icon. Toggle multi-camera view, boom. Now, on the bottom of the timeline, uh, you're gonna see that there's a yellow bar on top. That's when the video starts. The reason why I have this extra clip before and after the video is because the audio, uh, I recorded it way before the event started just to be on the safe side. So I'm gonna scroll down and right when the video starts, that's where I'm gonna cut. C to cut, or you could click on one of this icon, uh, that's the razor tool. So you could you could see the hotkey that pops up. Or So just have a habit of using hotkeys. So C to cut. And then of course, the uh, selection tool is V. So they're right next to each other. So you could just get used to it and just click, click. So V, select the one before and delete. And if you hold down Option Delete, it automatically deletes that file and pushes everything else to the beginning. Otherwise, if you don't push Option Delete, you just select it, delete it, and you can just drag it to the beginning. Right? Simple as that. All right, so camera one is activated on the left screen. So as we are turning on the cameras, they will one at a time appear onto the screen. Now you see the three um, videos that appear at the same time. So this is kind of fun because you can all you have to do is select the timeline on the bottom, make sure the blue line is around it, push the space bar to play, and you can simply just click on the camera two, boom. This is when I want it to start. Camera three, there you go, I like that. 
let's go ahead and show the back camera back angle boom click on that and then back to the other camera angle and just space bar to pause now as you can see on the bottom of the timeline it made the cut for you look at that boom camera two camera three camera one and you know and so on so that's all you have to do is just simply just go into it okay if i'm gonna find a good spot space bar to continue boom camera angle let's go to the next one and then click on the next camera angle and that's all you have to do now as you can see this is a little messy so all you have to do then is just push the space bar and just kind of cut with a c and just kind of make sure you edit the uh, video together so it's nicely edited but if this was a a concert you don't have to do any kind of extra editing you just click on the window that you just want to um, change to so it's, it's kind of fun you can listen to the music space bar and as you're listening oh i like camera angle two click on click on that i like camera angle three now boom and you just keep doing it real time and then at the end when you're done all you have to do is just go to file export media and you could just leave everything as is i mean that's another whole thing that you have to go into to see what kind of bit rate and what kind of file size that you want your video to edit but the default is just nice so it's already nice so you're good to go just just make sure that the uh, format is h264 and match the uh, high bit rate but they some they do have youtube selection down here we might as well do it because i know this is going to go on youtube so just select that click on the output name just make sure you give it a ceremony boom same folder remember where you put it and then save it and you have an option to just click on use maximum rendering quality i like to do that and all you do is simply just export and just let it go all right guys that's how easy it is to edit multiple camera into one multi-cam edit uh if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And if you're interested in getting just more tutorials on uh, video and photo and drone and just anything related with cameras, I would love to send some uh, free information to your email. So go to camera to freedom.com, hook me up with your email address, and you could be a part of this awesome adventure of just learning camera stuff so that you can also use it to have a career, raise your family, just have a blast in life you know doing this if there's anything you want to learn that you have questions about in regarding video editing or photo or anything related with the camera just uh, write a comment let me know it not only does it help me figure out uh, new content to create but also you know i get to hook you up with some awesome information and help you grow as well so um if you watched it all the way through i appreciate it and i'll see you next time